Okay, so I think we can start. So welcome everybody to our webinar dedicated to backup data strategy. Um, today we are glad to welcome Jacques, Emmanuel, and Nigel from Penandis NetApp and Comvol. Um, if you have questions, feel free to ask them. Our experts will answer at uh, the end of the presentation. Um, now I will let uh, give the word sorry, to Jacques to introduce the, the subject. Hello, everyone. Hoping uh, all the persons uh, are well. This is a quite uh, strange day. But uh, the, our webinar today is the it's centered uh, around data continuities through the cloud. The, the main subject is protection, not against the COVID, but protection of the data and the production of an, and the IT production. Which is one data is are something which is very very important for a company for firms. So uh, the the subject is perhaps not the most sexy in the world, but it is very very important for organizations for IT organization today. And uh, uh, we'll talk about protection. We'll talk uh, about cloud, both protection and cloud. If the cloud is an option. How can we back up to the cloud? But um, in the first time, for a person not knowing who is Telendus, just let me introduce Telendus. I don't have the presentation working. Okay, so we have a technical problem. Uh, Jacques, could you share your screen to me? Yes. Here you can have a view of uh, what is Telendus. Telendus is, uh, is an old uh, IT company in Luxembourg. Um, more than 40 years of experience in Luxembourg and uh, more than 700 employees in Luxembourg. Telendus is part of the Proximus group and uh, composed with uh, three main uh, Three main core business, ICT integrator, cloud services, and telecom operator. And um, there, there are a, a lot of service around this core business, fixed and mobile, as you can see in the slide. Fixed and mobile broadband, uh, this is the telephony part. Uh, the, the cloud is uh, one of the main strategy for Telendus to, to bring the to, to bring solutions to our customers for an hybrid cloud or uh, towards a public cloud uh, and to to have the, the the best advice even if the customers is going to the public cloud cybersecurity is one of our main topics at Telendus. Uh, training center we we, we have the, the the possibility to uh, training uh, our our customers and uh, this training center is even uh, used by uh, Telendus employees. Uh, and the ICT solution is uh, one of the important aspects. And um, today we will talk about backup, and backup is part of this ICT solution. solution. Um, infrastructure, Telendus is well known for the capacity to deploy complex infrastructure in Luxembourg. And uh, these complex infrastructures uh, uh, are made through uh, server storage, uh, uh, hypervisor, uh, security network, and even backup, which is part of what we will talk today. Managed services is one important part of Telendus. We uh, we uh, we could make managed services for customers uh, that are on that are placed on uh, our data centers. And these uh, managed services can be uh, something very basic, for example, backup, or uh, something which is uh, uh, more sophisticated and more complex. Uh, uh, for example, we are making managed services for all the infrastructure of, of uh, uh, for customers, of our customers. Uh, the digital finance solution, more about uh, we can talk about smart 
with matching and big data and uh, uh, emerging solutions are part of uh, our portfolio. Um, the, just one word before introducing uh, Emmanuel and uh, Nigel. Uh, the Calendus is engaged from a long time on protection and availability when we are talking infrastructure. Uh, these topics are very important. Uh, today, IT availability is more critical than ever in front of new threats uh, like ransomware, cryptovirus hacking. Uh, it's crucial, it's very important to protect IT production ag against huge downtime. Uh, what a cryptovirus is able to do, and believe me, uh, uh, we are talking about reality. Unfortunately, unfortunately, um, we have some customers that are that were crypto hacked by some virus uh, with a down of production. And in this case, it's very important to have a, a good strategy. Uh, it's not <coughs> cryptovirus. Uh, it's uh, sometimes difficult to avoid this cryptoverse, but what is very important is to have, uh, again, a good strategy to, to make the, the production up again. Uh, the, the, the protection that we, are, that we will talk uh, about this webinar is um, what I call multidimensional. Um, the, goal, the goal of the protection is the, to keep data and production available. Um, and therefore, we have protection against human errors, uh, something like a logical protection, protection against cryptovirus, protection against a silent hacker, and again, we are talking about reality. Uh, it was not on the customers of Talendus, but uh, we know that a, uh, a silent hacker was introduced to our to one customers uh, for a long time and has scripted all the, the disks and even the, the tapes. So. Uh, this, this is the, today the threats. Protection data in the cloud, which is the best way to protect uh, backup, uh, to, to, to backup my infrastructure in the cloud, my pass, my SaaS. Do the public cloud provider uh, give me a high level of protection? What about hybrid cloud? These are the dimensional, dimensional multidimensional aspect of the backup protection. Uh, one dimension to protect logically data against human error, one dimension to make this protection always available, one dimension to protect hybrid or public cloud resources. Uh, and and uh, the last point is that uh, backup is a meaning of uh, large resource to manage and monitor. Backup is something special, which is always alive. Open files, database, uh, open databases, uh, time window to accommodate the backup. All this stuff is uh, something, uh, a huge challenge to monitor, correct, to administer uh, at uh, day to day. So, uh, and backup is not one tool. Often it's not one tool, it's a set of technology. Uh, and uh, what we will present to you is that, that uh, we can have through one tool a collection of set of technology, uh, meaning that uh, uh, we can make more with less. And this is an important topic for IT uh, staff to, to make more with less, uh, especially in the, in the backup uh, area. This is uh, my kind of introduction. Uh, now I will uh, uh, I will pass the the presentation to Emmanuel Renard and Nigel Tozer. Uh, these are our specialists, and uh, they they will have more in depth uh, solutions to uh, to provide towards uh, all these kind of threats. Yes, Sorry. thank you, Jack. I hope you can see my screen and hear me correctly. Yes, we can. Oh, perfect. Thank you, Nigel. Yes, so um, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Emmanuel Renard. I'm Data Protection Architect at NetApp since uh, over 10 years. But before that, I was uh, working as Data Protection Consultant in Luxembourg many years. So that's a, 
a special pleasure to, to be with you today and to be able to uh, present virtually, let's say, in Luxembourg. And uh, with me together, uh, we will present uh, jointly um, is with me Nigel Tother from Commvault. If you like to introduce yourself, Nigel. Yeah, sure, Emmanuel. Yeah, um, as you can see, my name is Nigel Tozer. I've been with uh, Commvault for uh, nearly 14 years and I work uh, as a subject matter expert in, in the marketing team. Yes, thank you. So what we want to speak about today, and NetApp and <coughs> Commvault. So yeah, we want, what do we want to present to you this uh, joint solution? Well, because we are already looking back to over 10 years of uh, close technical collaboration. We are now counting thousands of customers that are trusting our joint technologies. But why is that the case? So, well, we believe that the reason for that is residing in the fact that we are very good aligned. We are complementary in our offering. We are both leaders in ease of use and broad capabilities. And all over that, modernizing and simplifying IT, and modernizing and simplifying data protection are our complementary guidelines. But yes, modernizing, that can be a big deal. Every organization must do it nowadays, if public or commercial or even non-profit. It involves new infrastructure, new um, strategy, new technologies, new type of applications. Um, and it all means more and more data to manage. And that can be quite a challenge. Multi-cloud is now common, but even getting one public cloud working effic uh, efficiently for a company is already quite a complex task. Managing multiple clouds can become really challenging. And hybrid models even increase the complexity. Next to that, of course, um, the security aspect. Cybercrime, as uh, Jack already mentioned, Ransomware attacks are real threats, but also global regulation around privacy and uh, governance. All that uh, is adding complexity issues into data management and protection. And finally, yeah, the new types of workload, the multiplication of devices, uh, which are increasing the volume uh, and the variety of data. And this is rarely followed in the same um, and with the same increasing in staff or budget or internal skills. And we have um, some evidence for that, Nigel. Yeah, sure, uh, Emmanuel. So as you can see, it says here that 64% uh, said it was, well, IT was more complex than two years ago. Uh, and this is actually the, uh, the CIOs that were asked this particular question. And they said it was generally down to cloud and also down to uh, things like GDPR, which was causing the extra complexity. Uh, then, of course, we've already re uh, mentioned uh, ransomware. The interesting statistic behind this one is that it's not just 60% that were affected, so we're not saying their entire IT system was taken down, but what we are saying is they had some infection that they had to deal with. Uh, but uh, of this 60%, 29% were getting hit on a weekly basis. Uh, now, <laughs> that just goes to show the, the level of risk that we're all at and why we've had to look at security. But as Jack said, we really need to think about backup and recovery too as that last line of defense. And finally, in this kind of perfect storm where things are more complicated, we get an attack like we never had before. Now, we're also suffering uh, typically from a skill shortage and actually cloud and IT architects, storage architects too, are the, the areas that, uh, that are most uh, lacking with the skills. So all of these things coming together means that we have to take some action if we to stay protected and keep our data protected. Back to you, Emmanuel. Yeah. So let's go now to, to the topic. But from we from what we heard, we have potentially uh, people in the audience that are uh, well uh, familiar with NetApp or with Convolt or with both uh, of them. But some of you potentially don't know NetApp very well or Convolt. So we want you to start with a short presentation of uh, each company and then go to the a joint solution. So, well, NetApp. NetApp is known today as a hybrid cloud data services and data management company. But what is the historic behind that? How did it come to that? Well, NetApp started in the 90s with storage, running an intelligent operating system called ONTAP, allowing high availability through metro cluster implementation and using a unique snapshot technology 
allowing fast, space efficient and immutable data protection and replication, and just as quick cloning and recovery. So let's say storage with intelligence. And the next evolution step was to virtualize this intelligent operating system into a software defined uh, storage solution, facilitating exactly the same ingenious features as on physical systems. And this virtualization of the operating system was the crucial step leveraging the way into the cloud. Then ONTAP can run today in a cloud instance as well as on-prem. So what does that mean in terms of ease of use and efficiency? Well, that means that uh, you can run the same operating system and use exactly the same tools for all your business, no matter if there is uh, running in the data center, in the branch offices, in Microsoft Azure, Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud Platform, or in the private cloud of your serving service provider. So it also means that snapshot-based replication, which allow efficient data protection and migration, DevOps, deployments, is available in all type of locations and also between every type of location. So this intelligent core uh, business partnered with the NetApp hyper-converged infrastructure and the object storage offering is building what we call and what we see here on the picture, what we call the data fabric, so a consistent and integrated approach to how to manage the hybrid world. Our data fabric solution is about providing consistent tools and consistent capabilities between hybrid cloud and on-prem capabilities to allow customer to easily and securely scale as they need it. And that integrates perfectly with the data management and protection software of Commvault. And I will give the word to Nigel to depict that. Yeah, thanks, Manuel. So as you can see, um, we have a, a data fabric sitting here. And if you could uh, go to the, click the button, please, Manuel. Um, what we're able to do is all of the data that's uh, inside that environment, uh, and actually third party too, I'm sure Emmanuel wouldn't mind uh, me mentioning that. Uh, we bring a, a few new things to the party where backup is concerned. So first of all, we're using AI technology to enable the software to manage itself. So you explain the uh, service level agreements that you need to uh, hit, the recovery time and recovery point objectives, and there's machine learning uh, version of AI inside the technology that will actually ensure that you can hit that. Or it'll warn you if there's some kind of uh, uh, bottleneck somewhere that could stop you from doing that. Uh, the next thing that we provide is, uh, because Commvault is software, it runs natively in the cloud. And when you combine it with cloud technologies that uh, from NetApp and the, and the regular cloud, and also on tap on premises, we get this cloud native approach to business continuance and disaster recovery. So uh, the, the infrastructure is able to provide you with that uh, resilience. If something does fail, then you've got the backup to recover from. And if there's a complete failure of a whole site for whatever reason, whether it's ransomware or a disaster of some type, then you have the ability to do full disaster recovery into the cloud too. Now, the other thing that makes uh, Convolt a lot simpler to use is this notion of push button recovery. So you might say, well, every backup software <laughs> can do that. But when we refer to push button recovery with Convolt, we're actually referring to really complex enterprise applications like SAP. Literally, you can press uh, the recovery button at the point that you want, and it will use a combination of snapshots, scripts, and automation uh, to deliver that, that application back to you in just a few minutes. The same is true of whole environments even if they're being recovered to a new in, a new place like in the cloud. And finally, you know, a lot of you will be thinking or already running your on-premises systems on hyper-converged infrastructure. And actually, that's a good infrastructure, infrastructure or architecture for backup to run on too. So with Commvault, you have the option uh, to run it as a traditional, but, but also as a hyper-converged uh, uh, appliance-like uh, model. If you go to the next slide, please, Emmanuel. And, and that's really what um, NetApp uh, uh, Scale Data Protection is about. And the reason we've included this is just to show you how the two uh, technology stacks really do integrate. 
So as you can see from the diagram here, we've got the data fabric sitting at the top, or it can be any private cloud, of course. As I said, uh, you don't have to be a current uh, NetApp customer to be able to make use of this. Uh, and the Commonwealth software will manage snapshots in that uh, private cloud. Then we're using the HCI technology from NetApp, which actually separates out compute and storage. Uh, so you can scale them independently. Uh, and we're going to uh, flash as the first tier, which makes it really super fast uh, for both backup and recovery. Uh, of course, flash wouldn't be practical to store many years of data on. Um, so there's also uh, something in here called Storage Grid, which is the object storage system from NetApp, uh, which uh, is fantastic as a tape replacement. It's a, it has a cloud-like architecture, and that allows you to store things for, for much longer. And of course, you can still go out to the cloud after that. So what we're doing is providing you with something that's uh, easy enough to install, but then you can you don't have these rigid architectures that backup uh, is normally uh, put on. And where this can really be effective is if you've had multiple backup technologies in the past from five or six uh, different vendors, which is something that we see uh, very commonly, and you want to consolidate that to make it more efficient, to lower your costs, then Commvault is able to do that. And when you do that, you do need to be able to scale uh, more effectively. And that's really what the HCI platform uh, from, uh, from NetApp uh, brings uh, to the party. Now we talked about ransomware. If you could go to the next slide, please, uh, Emmanuel. Um, knowing that you you have the security uh, of ransomware is is really quite important. Uh, and of course, uh, with um, with your backup system, so this is one of the things that's actually starting to get attacked uh, on, in its own right now. So they're not just going for your data anymore. They actually look for uh, snapshots, if they can find them from Microsoft, for example, and try and encrypt those, they'll look for the backup system and try and get in there too to stop you being able to recover your data because that means that they might be more successful with your ransom, with their ransom. So we do a ton of things, and this is all uh, in addition to any security uh, software that you'll already have uh, in place and firewalls and all the other things. Education too, of course, is really important because uh, ransomware normally gets in through phishing. But we've got a hardened system. So we do a lot with the security by default so that uh, you know the backup system is away from uh, from where the, the attack could happen. We can also run on different multiple operating systems. Uh, and uh, we have some uh, artificial intelligence that looks for anomalies. So this again is on top of uh, any security software that you might have. And then you might notice as we go through the layers here, uh, Commvault is able to manage uh, NetApp snapshots. They're immutable. Uh, our backups are immutable, whether it's on, uh, you know, the, the, the SDP platform or, or traditional Commvault. Uh, the storage grid system itself is very secure. So again, you've got long-term storage there. Commvault can also still run out to immutable media such as Worm or Tape. And then, of course, uh, we can send off to the cloud. And the cloud has multiple options too. So the way that Commvault works with the cloud, it's what we call air-gapped. So it's, uh, there's a distance between the backup system and the cloud, so it's not online all the time, which uh, which can also be a risk. And of course, there are uh, mutable storage options in the cloud too. And of course, finally, you can also do disaster recovery uh, out to the cloud. So it's really, really uh, secure, and you can sleep well in the knowledge that your data is safe. Emmanuel, is there anything that you wanted to add from a NetApp perspective on this one? Yes, well, to the keyword uh, immutability, um, the, um, our snaplock technology is also something coming to my mind. Um, so a snapshot, of course, is read-only, but uh, like backup, it could get deleted potentially. So our snapshot technology, uh, sorry, snaplock technology is something we originally um, deployed for compliance purpose. So it's a feature that can be enabled. Um, on a portion of uh, the storage, let's say on an aggregate, to make sure that data, once written to that location, cannot be modified, not deleted, before the defined, um, before they reach their defined retention. And that feature, feature that can also be used uh, to protect your backup data and make sure that your backups, your snapshots at that location cannot be damaged, cannot be deleted um, by accident or by uh, intervention. And um, yes, to the topic of uh, detecting uh, adversities, that's uh, of course also um, uh, something that is embedded in the operating system. So concerning uh, intrusion malware detection, we are using our so-called F policy to monitor 
file access. And that allows to notice a change in behavior from a user or from a way a file get accessed in real time, enabling to react and block uh, an intrusion extremely fast and uh, consequently to reduce uh, the impact. So again, here, a complementary uh, solution also on that level. Yeah, thanks, Manuel. And if anybody's interested in getting some more of the details, uh, <laughs> both uh, NetApp and Comble and Talindas have uh, a lot of skilled staff and, and extra assets and things that, uh, that, that you can find uh, that will explain more. So if you want to go to the next slide, Emmanuel, um, just click it again. Uh, there is another build here. And um, I, we talked about the data fabric, but of course, there's uh, extra places where you can put data beyond that. Obviously, things like laptops, uh, it's not, not in every case have data on them, but in, in a lot of companies, they still do. Uh, you might be using uh, SaaS technologies like Microsoft 365 or, or the stuff from Google. And particularly during the COVID situation, um, you know, with a lot of people working from home, it's actually spread data into more locations than, than probably ever before. So if you could click again, please, Emmanuel. Yeah. And really, this, this is the next point of what uh, Commvault is able to do. We're able to look into all of these places and find what we call entities, so types of data, and we're also able to uh, index data and start to produce analytics. And this allows you to do these four things uh, around the edge here. So the first one really is to get visibility of missing value. If you have uh, some kind of AI project or some something where you need to enrich data, quite often you already have the data that you need. And this allows you to have visibility regardless of whether it's in your data fabric, you know, whatever storage systems you have in the cloud and in uh, these SaaS locations. As soon as you have that value, then you can start to use it. The next thing really is this notion of managing data risk. So hackers and evil bad people don't just send us ransomware. They also, unfortunately, will try and break into our systems and literally steal our data. Uh, and of course, those data breaches, if the security isn't good, uh, can be very detrimental with GDPR. You can find yourself in the headlines, which you really don't want. So if you can have a good picture of your data and understand where the sensitive data is and understand how well protected it is from hackers, then straight away you can strengthen your defenses and also maybe understand better if you are hacked, what your exposure is. Um, the other area of risk, particularly in our post-COVID world, is this notion of data costs. So uh, things like uh, subject access requests or right, uh, requests for erasure have a, an impact on cost of your organization. So if you can find and process those uh, much quicker, then there's a cost benefit. And also, you know, we have an awful lot of data that we just don't need. You know, data value peaks uh, and dips, but actually the risk can remain constant, especially if it's about personal data. So things that you shouldn't keep we can actually get rid of. And this works, like I said, on laptops and in the cloud too. And finally, all, if you do all of these things very well, then it helps you to build customer trust. If you don't get hacked, if you don't have, you know, uh, if, if you can set your uh, compliance bar uh, higher than just regular compliance and, and, and be better with data, then it means your customers are more likely to stay with you and customer loyalty is really important right now. Um, if you go to the next slide, uh, please, Emmanuel. I think uh, you wanted to uh, start yeah. with this one. Yes. Yeah, so, um, so far, we spoke already a lot about um, uh, cloud, about hybrid cloud, and as well as multi-cloud. But once again, um, this can get incredibly uh, complex, but it can also um, be very simple, uh, let's say simple, cost-effective, mm -hmm. and easy to manage. And that's uh, where I want to emphasize, again, the uh, NetApp vision. Um, what we are doing uh, in the cloud is uh, by offering cloud volumes on tap or Azure uh, NetApp files, for example, which are running the same tools and features as on tap on-prem, making possible for you to move your workloads um, from one to the other transparently and without having to learn new features for every new platform. And that the freedom of choice, that's what we call the freedom of choice that you get by keeping things uh, consistent and just uh, as Commvault products uh, on-prem data, it uh, does just the same in the cloud and over the whole uh, data fabric. Um, yeah, you spoke about uh, cloud native uh, aspect already, um, uh, Nigel, but I'm sure you... Yeah, no, absolutely. So um, 
uh, it, it escapes a lot of people that uh, you still need to back up data that's in the cloud. Availability and backup are two different things. And actually, if uh, if you're a large organization and you have uh, a security or risk officer that tells you you can't use the cloud because the data isn't as well protected, then quite often being able to back it up properly uh, can help. Uh, but as uh, Emmanuel said, we can manage NetApp snapshots in the cloud. All of the features to make the cloud more efficient. Uh, and I'm sure Emmanuel won't mind me saying uh, NetApp will claim that they make your cloud actually much, much cheaper when you run uh, on tap, uh, the cloud volumes on tap in the cloud because of the efficiencies. Commvault adds to that uh, and can, uh, again, be, be really complementary. So while we're both able to move data around the cloud, uh, there's some extra things that Commvault does that uh, that can be really useful, of course. If you've got uh, backup and recovery on premises, we can send that data securely into the cloud uh, for uh, data archiving too. Uh, we can convert VMs from one type to another and replicate between non-identical uh, non VM types. So this can be uh, make things really flexible for things like cloud disaster recovery, dev test, and some of the other things that we uh, we spoke about, even permanent migration. And of course, we also protect um, technologies in the cloud uh, beyond, uh, you know, just data uh, and virtual machines and workloads. We also support uh, platform as a service offerings. Uh, and if anybody's looking to re-platform to uh, Azure NetApp Files, which is a, a Microsoft offering based around NetApp, we also uh, can protect that too. So there's a lot of flexibility in what we do. And we, we call it transformative for a reason, because when the cloud is made, so much simpler by combining NetApp and Commvault, and it's much uh, more properly protected. And if you think about the, uh, the efficiencies that we can bring that I showed on that last slide, and the efficiencies that NetApp bring, it makes cloud a much better proposition. And of course, uh, again, in this current world, uh, it's really quite important. If you go to the next slide, please, Emmanuel. And then, uh, something that's uh, quite important too uh, for, is, is our joint ecosystem. So, and it's much wider than this. These are just some of the key logos that uh, most organizations uh, work with. But these are our key partners. They're also NetApp's key partners, and also uh, that of Telindus. So there's a lot of uh, uh, synergy in the, in the companies that we work with. And that means that you can jump in any direction. It means you can stay agile and know that the core technologies that your business runs on is, is all gonna work for you and be properly protected. Next slide, please, Emmanuel. Uh, now, we've said a lot of good things about ourselves, and that's not a good place to be. So we thought we'd show you that uh, other people say good things about us both too. And it just doesn't stop. We're here with, uh, with Gartner from a combo perspective. Uh, Forrester and others say uh, put us in, in the same sort of spot. Uh, and we've actually been in this top right uh, position for the last eight years. And you can't do that unless you're constantly innovating. If you don't innovate, then your competitors catch you up and overtake you. So that's just an example of uh, in the backup and recovery and data management space, uh, what, what Commvault's been, uh, been doing. Uh, would you like to say something about uh, NetApp, Emmanuel? Yes, perhaps just a closing word uh, on that. So uh, yeah, as well as uh, Commvault leads um, in data center backup and recovery solution. Yeah, we have also been recognized by Garner as leader for primary storage. That's what you see on the slide. But also the IDC market perspectives are providing NetApp's uh, leadership, uh, sorry, are uh, proving um, NetApp leadership position in additional categories like object-based storage and data uh, services for hybrid cloud. So that's, um, yeah. that would be my last word on that. And I think looking at the time, we, uh, yeah, we need to go to the summary. Yeah, it's, uh, this is really quick for me. You know, um, the world we're in now, modernization means simplifying, simplifying, consolidating, making things more cost effective. Uh, and that's what NetApp and Commvault are able to do on the data protection side. Risk management is important, not just from ransomware, but also the inherent risk of not getting the value from data or the risk of hackers and other things and, and, and regulations. You have to protect yourself from that too. Uh, and you know, cloud is complicated. There's no two ways about it. And if you're suffering from skill shortages, then obviously, you know, Talindus can help you. But the, the, the transformative tools, again, from both Commvault and NetApp used in conjunction will make uh, cloud, the cloud journey for you a lot easier and uh, more cost effective and more agile at the end of the day. So with that, I'll hand back to Shaq.
Yeah, check if you want. I can uh, leave my my screen. Yep. And yeah, you wanted to uh, show one or two uh, use cases uh, um, yes. from your experiences. If I can take over the screen. I can continue to share my screen if you prefer. Yes, yes, I prefer. I prefer. OK, then just tell me when I'll or is switch okay. back. Yes, so you can click to the, to the first use case. Uh, this first use case is uh, about healthcare. Um, the, the point of the healthcare uh, environment is that it's very heterogeneous. It's a lot of different sources of data. Uh, file servers, um, there, there are CIFS, there are NFS. Uh, we have to, to back up a VMware source. Uh, Windows operating system, Linux operating system, network tools, a uh, lot of kind of uh, different database, a ACP, Oracle. Uh, it's, it's a very it, it's a challenge. The, the source is a big challenge. The, the other challenge is the amount of data to protect. Uh, for example, in this use case, we have more than uh, 20 uh, ESXi server for one data center more than 400 VMs, and more than 150 terabytes of backup. And the, the amount of data is one thing, but the, the retention is another thing. Because in some cases, the retention is infinite. We cannot say that it's a retention for six months, one year, 10 years. No, no. Uh, in some cases, and I suppose it will be more and more the case, uh, the retention is infinite because the the the, the patient uh, what is around the the person in the hospital uh, must be kept for a long long time and this is a, a big challenge. Another challenge to the the health care is that in fact the often the the team is a very small team and as we have said before. As Emmanuel and Nigel said, um, backup is not only uh, one one tool; it's a set of solutions. Snapshot, the the first the first uh, level of protection we can have is the snapshot of the disk. Okay, this is the first uh, level of protection. But can we keep this snapshot on the disk? Is that uh, efficient? Is that a good way? No. If the the, the first the, the primary disk fails, we have we we lost the snapshot. So uh, can we transport the snapshot to an, another kind of storage? Uh, can we transport the, if we cannot, can we transport this kind of snapshot to, can, can we transform the, the, this snapshot? Can we take the data from one location to another location, from one media to another media? Uh, and uh, all this kind of stuff can be done with uh, Convolt. And uh, Convolt is, uh, becomes a central part of all these kinds of solutions, not only what is the backup, what is the tape. No, no, it's, uh, we can do snapshot directly through the one console. And this this part of the solution is very important for the healthcare because it's, uh, again, often the, there, are, the, the, there are small teams there. So, so a very little team just with just one tool to federate all, uh, it's a good, very, very ap appreciated approach. And and the last point is that uh, uh, what you have, uh, our design is, uh, on this use case, uh, is totally future ready. Uh, the, the This hospital doesn't know now if they will, they can go to the to the cloud, if they will, they can go to an hybrid solution, for example, using the, the data centers of Telendus. Perhaps yes, perhaps not. They don't know for the moment, but uh, the, the solution is future read, ready. Uh, if they, they want to, to put the data on the cloud, they can. If on an hybrid solution, to put the data on the data centers of Telendus, for example, they can. Uh, so it's, it's an important point for uh, this. This solution. And perhaps the last last point 
is that the compliance compliance is a very important aspect of the healthcare. There are of uh, healthcare teams are often uh, audited by uh, external auditors. So uh, the keeping the 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 data safe is an important goal for healthcare. For the second uh, uh, use case, Emmanuel, if you can click, thanks. Uh, it was industry. Uh, this uh, use case was uh, not totally aligned with what we can see in the industry, because uh, the, the ma major issue is the one big database, Oracle database. And this Oracle database uh, is uh, uh, directly connected to to uh, several customers of this industry, and this database cannot stop. So the 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 constraint was on the availability of the the database, and uh, the other constraint to that customers is, is the security. Uh, uh, performance is uh, is always. Uh, what we are including into uh, the design we are making. So it's an obvious kind, but um, the, the solution that uh, we have made, we have designed with uh, Commvault and Metap uh, was uh, difficult to achieve because a lot of person was around the table. Uh, the, the, the software person who has developed the software, the, the team of the customers, uh, it is a managed service. It is, it is customers which is managed service by Telendus. So a lot of people around the table. But uh, at, we are at the point that uh, we can achieve a very high uh, level of availability and security to the backup uh, for uh, this, this kind of uh, of customer. So this is uh, the two main points that. Uh, I have uh, the main use case. Uh, this last one was not the um, uh, typically uh, what we can see in the industry, but um, the huge database is more uh, seen uh, on the financial places. But again, it's a real use case. So it was important to mention it. For the, we, we are at the end of this presentation. I suppose there will questions. Uh, how we can do for the questions? Did we did we have questions? I don't think so, Jack. No. I don't see questions. Okay, so. Um, it was, uh, for me, it was uh, very interesting to hear about uh, Emmanuel from NetApp and Emmanuel from uh, Commvault. Uh, we at Telendus, we, are, uh, we know that uh, the combination of uh, NetApp and Commvault is a very good combination for the, the backup. And we have several customers that were um, hacked by ransomware and uh, uh, they, they were very pleased to uh, to uh, put the production again up in just a couple of seconds with the with NetApp and Commvault. So it it is the reality. It is an important point. It's not the the, the one point, the only point. Uh, there are a lot of points that uh, Emmanuel and Angela talk about. So uh, uh, for us again, it's uh, we. We are confident in this uh, this uh, solution, and for me, it's uh, it's up. It's if uh, there are uh, there are questions, I see no questions. So uh, thank you, uh, thank you at all. Thank you, Emmanuel. Thank you, Nigel, and thank you, uh, you uh, you guys uh, that are. Uh, we're into the, this webinar. Uh, hope uh, we will do other kind of uh, webinars in the future. And yes, uh, have a good time. Thank you very much, Jack. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Thank you.
Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.